You may think that the water rose because the fire depleted the oxygen trapped in the glass. However, this is not sufficient to fully explain why the water rose and why it only started to rise after the flame went out. In order to understand why the water rose, we'll need to refer to some chemistry. Recall that any chemical reaction can be represented by a chemical equation. In this case, we have a combustion reaction. Therefore, we will need a combustion chemical equation. The candle wax has a chemical formula as shown here. The combustion chemical reaction is set up like this. The N in the candle wax formula is any positive integer. So let's take the simplest case where N is equal to 1. Therefore, we get this chemical equation. Notice, for every two moles of oxygen used by the flame, one mole of carbon dioxide is produced. Therefore, because less moles of carbon dioxide is produced than oxygen is being used, this creates a lower pressure inside of the cup which causes the water to rise. You may be wondering what happens to the water vapor produced by the reaction as shown in the chemical equation. Well, that's good, you're thinking. However, the water vapor has a minor effect on the observations simply because as the water vapor rises from the bottom of the cup to the top, it quickly condenses and turns back into a liquid. You may have noticed the water only started to rise quickly just before and after the flame went out. This is because although less carbon dioxide was produced in the glass than oxygen being used, the heat created by the flame caused an increase in pressure of the gases. This increase in pressure countered the lower pressure that would have been created if there was no flame. When the flame finally went out, there was no longer any heat to maintain the high pressure inside of the glass. The pressure started to decrease since less moles of gas was produced than was used. Recall, for every two moles of oxygen used in the reaction, one mole of carbon dioxide was produced.